Welcome to my channel. This reading is for Gemini for the week of January 19th to the 25th. I was shuffling, shuffling the cards earlier and um, four cards fell out. I have the Page of Wands, the High Priestess, the Ten of Wands in reverse, and the Page of Swords in reverse. So I'm going to pull out four more for you. Um, I have the Six of Wands in reverse, Queen of Cups in reverse, Three of uh, Wands upright, and the Death card in reverse. No, overall, not an optimistic week, um, I'm sorry to say. So I see early on, um, you do have this, you know, revitalized energy um, of passion and of just moving forward the, with the Page of Wands and the High Priestess, too. The High Priestess is, um, you have, you're, you're very emotionally and spiritually balanced, so at this point, you're in a good place. So I feel like the um, the first part of the week, though, is, is just phenomenal so um from monday through possibly wednesday thursday um you you feel like you were able to handle a lot of uh, your responsibilities by wednesday and you're very actually very proud of yourself so you're hoping that you know the rest of the week will be smooth sailing um so i'm sorry to say that it's actually not looking like it's going to be that way um Whatever you're hoping for, that's a victory, is actually not coming in. So if you're starting out a project and you're launching a project, you're going to hit some glitches. And I also want to remind you that uh, Mercury is going into retrograde. So it's not a good time to launch projects right now if you want to, um, you want to wait until you know, the end of February when um, Mercury is completely out of its shadow phase. So that would be the best time. So I do see some delay, delays, and you're not getting the accolades that um, you want from this completion of this project, okay? So with the Queen of Cups coming in, um, you might be emotionally imbalanced the, the second half of the week, like around Thursday, Friday, in that the things you're hoping for is not are not panning out the way you want. Um, this Queen of Cups is a person, but um, it's right underneath the High Priestess, so I'm sensing it as an energy. You feel a little deflated and disappointed, but um, just hang in there. Just um, make sure that, you know, think of delays not as blockages, but rather opportunities for you to um, go over the things that might have been missed in the prior week. So just to add finer final finishing touches on your final projects. So just think of them as opportunities to get one last look before you launch anything, okay? So don't look at them as blockages. Think of them as opportunities for you. Um, with this, um, towards the weekend, I feel this energy in which you're kind of, um, you're very deflated and just very disappointed and you feel like even you either want this project to launch really badly so you feel like you want to just go ahead with it or you're just very disappointed at the way things are planning out and you're thinking about different ventures um with this dead death card here i feel that um you're actually not going to let this project go and i honestly would say stick to it because we're coming across you know some um powerful cosmic energy, you know, for the end of um, January to early February because of the Mercury retrograde. So don't make any drastic decisions. If you choose to walk away, do so at a different time when you're a little more level-headed and clear-minded, okay? So um, towards the end of the week, though, um, I feel that it's going to give you a little more clarity that just wait it out a little bit more it would be my advice just because things are all up in the air and we are crossing paths with very powerful planetary alignments this month so hold it off for me please um i will see you again next week all right